Shavu Tov, it is Motzei Shabbat, Parashat Breshi Tavshin Pei Dalad. We are seven days into a war, a milchama, against the forces of evil, Hamas, Yimach Shemam Vezichram, who attacked us on Simchat Torah just seven days ago. I want to share with you a critical message from this week's parasha, Parashat Breshit. I want you to think about the fact that in every single major city in the world, every newspaper is covering what happened between Israel and Hamas just seven days ago. You look at the New York Times, you scroll through the articles, the first 15 articles are about what happened in Israel. Why is the world so obsessed with what happened? This is true in London, it's true in Paris, it's true in Australia, it's true in South Africa. Why is everyone so obsessed with what happened in Israel? Why is it so important to the world? What's going on here? And I believe the answer is found in Parashat Bereshit. Right in the beginning of the parasha, Rashi tells us that the first words of the Torah are inscrutable. You cannot understand them with the apshat. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et ha'aretz. Bereshit. In the beginning, in the beginning of what? There's no explanation. What are we referring to? The Torah doesn't qualify. Bereshit of what? And so Rashi tells us that Bereshit, this pasuk requires deeper midrashic exegesis and elucidation. What does Bereshit mean? Bereshit is an entity. Hashem created the world Bereshit with Reshit in mind. And what is Reshit? Reshit is Am Yisrael. As Yirmiyahu Hanavi tells us, Kodesh Hashem Reshit Tvuato. We are holy to Hashem. We are the first of His produce, the first of His fruit. We are Reshit. For the sake of Reshit, Hashem created the world. What is the meaning of this Rashi? What is the significance? What are the theological ramifications of this Rashi? Number one, it means that we are a model nation for the world. Mi ke'amcha Yisrael, who is like the Jewish people. We have witnessed a terrible, vicious, cruel pogrom and massacre that took place on our homeland in Eretz Yisrael just seven days ago. But we've also witnessed this week, mi ke'amcha Yisrael, how great, how incredible, how wondrous the, tif- the tiferet, the glory of Am Yisrael. We've seen all the heat nadvut. We've seen the Mesirut Nefesh. Everyone in Israel today is running around mobilizing for war, helping others, supporting others. We see the compassion, the kindness, the generosity. Am Yisrael is incredible. Mika Amcha Yisrael. Bishvil Yisrael Shanikrat Reshit. We are the first of nations, the choicest of nations. We are the model nation for the rest of the world. No one compares against us. This is, not, uh, this is not about racial superiority. This is just facts in terms of how we behave, in terms of our ethics, in terms of our behavior, in terms of our belief system. Nikuda, there's nothing to argue about that. But there's something else captured in this Rashi. And that is that Am Yisrael are at the center of existence. This is an idea developed by the Maharal, the great 17th century, 16th century Jewish thinker who lived in Prague. And he tells us in his Sefer Netzach Yisrael, there's one God and there is one people who are at the center of existence. Bishvil Yisrael Shenigret Reshit. Am Yisrael is in the center of existence. And what happens here at ground zero in Medinat Yisrael has ramifications for the rest of the world. And let me tell you what, what I believe this means. What it means is that we are fighting a fight, not just against some terrorist entity, not just against Hamas, Yimach Shemam, the Iran and Hezbollah. We are fighting good versus evil. We are fighting for those who are on the side of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, those who want to bring godly values into the world, and those who believe in a death cult, who believe that it's okay to murder children and, why, and, and women and grandparents, and those who kidnap people who, who are, 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 are in, 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 with terrible, vicious cruelty. That is what the fight that is being waged right now. Those on our side who believe that every single human being was created with Salam Elohim, and those on the other side who believe that you can viciously slaughter other human beings. We are on the side of Hashem. We are on the side of light, and they are a death cult. We are with Hakadosh Baruch Hu. They don't, they're godless. It's nihilistic. Hamas is a nihilistic terrorist organization. And right now, the West, the Western world, and yes, we have one foot in the West, okay, but they have a choice to make. 
Are they going to choose that side or our side? Are they going to give us a free hand and recognize that if we don't root out the forces of evil today in Israel, then they will be on your doorstep tomorrow. If they just say, oh, you know, you could fight, but, but you have to make a ceasefire and everything has got to be totally proportionate to make sure that... No, that's not how we're going to be able to win this war. And that violates a very basic fundamental tenet of Judaism that our lives come first. Yes, we care about the civilian populations. Yes, we never, ever want to kill someone who doesn't need to be killed. And Israel has always held itself to the highest moral order and we have the most moral army in the world. Hands down, no one comes even close. But, but, chayecha kodmin. And if we do not have the free hand to fight and defend ourselves and, 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 and bring and create safety and protection for our children and the mothers in our, in our family, in Am Yisrael and the elderly, then it means that all of Western civilization is a sham. And it means that the value system is corrupt and backwards. And so it is up to us to fight this fight because what happens here in our land will have ramifications for the rest of the world. If chas v'shalom, we were to lose this battle, that would affect the rest of the West. And if we win, it means the forces of good are standing up against the forces of evil. And Bezrat Hashem, with Am Yisrael being together, the achdut that we're seeing, the power of Am Yisrael, of, of, of the unity of Am Yisrael, it's incredible what we can accomplish. It's incredible what we can do. And we then can win this battle. And Bezrat Hashem, with God's help, Am HaNetzach Lo Mefachin Miderech Aruka, it's going to be a long journey. It's going to be a marathon, not a hundred meter dash. We don't know what's ahead. We hope the, the, mo- the pain that is behind us, but we don't know. And this is war. This is a milchama. So we have to gird ourselves. We have to strengthen our emuna and daven. And we have to do everything we can for this war effort. And we need to recognize that what happens here has global ramifications. And we are being called. Our tafkid, our misima, our shlichut as an am is to fight for godly values in this world. And this is our fight. And we pray, Adonai oz la'amo yitain, Adonai varech adamo shalom. Hashem should give us strength and through strength and peace. O se shalom bimomav, to Hashem who makes peace anai. Hu yaase shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Chazak v'nitchazek.